you can see, we back with another pose video. Today's guest is Three Zeros Snake Eyes. So I'm recording this early in the morning and people out doing their uh their yards. So if you hear lawnmowers, that's what it is. I need to get out there and do my yard. I will later today, but not right now. Right now we doing some posing with this dude. And as you can see, I already got him in a basic stance. Nice stance you can use on your shelf. Got the swords doing the X. And I think I got everything on him except his little mini machine gun. Which there is no place to store it on the body, so I just got it off to the side over here. But this will be our first pose out the gate, right here. So I guess this is number one. I probably lose count while we doing this, so I just put the number up in the corner over here, or over here, or down there, somewhere on the screen. I don't know. All right, but let's get him into my next pose that I want to put him in. And I got my stands on deck. We're going to use this stand right here from Iron Man. I believe this is, uh, shoot, I forget which, uh, which Iron Man figure this, this stand came with. I think this is. Iron Man Mach 45 stand. I could be wrong, but I think this is the one it came from. I buy these stands off eBay separately. So, yeah, I think this is Mach 45 stand. I'm going to do a video with stands and show you all the stands that I'll be using for these videos. But we're going to put that on here. We're going to need this pole. And, uh,. First, before we get started, let me just point out some stuff about this figure. All these extra pieces that you put on them, they fall off. The whole time I was posing this dude, those things fell off. The clips and the guns, they just fall out real easy. The hands, they come out real easy. They pop. Well, this part pops out easy, but trying to pull it out from the actual hand itself, man, you're going to need some heat. I already broke one. Just taking this thing out the box, trying to uh, pose them up a few times. I was swapping out the fingers, I mean the hands, and I went to pull and the thing just snapped. Luckily, 3-0 give you like six extras. So I just basically plugged them in and left them in the hands that I was using the most. And the hands that I need to, you know, swap them out and put one in, I just heated up with the blow dryer. But so far, all the hands that I picked to put these pegs in, have been the ones I've been using the most so but yeah these things break real easy but they gave you a lot of them another thing is he is a lot more posable than Storm Shadow he actually has a, a ab crunch and waist rotation so that's a plus as far as uh, articulation I'm trying to see what else uh he looks damn good i think they did a good job with this uh this dude he has a few limitations with the arm articulation because of the outfit but you can still pull off some pretty uh decent poses my biggest gripe is the fact that all these things fall off too damn easy when posing them and you have to put it all back on but you know, that's a part of the game, so hey, whatever. All right, so uh, let's get into our next pose. I don't believe I used this for the first pose. So let me take this off. I'm not using the swords on this one, so just pop those off. Let me lay him down. 
All right, which hand do I need for this one? All right, see, <laughs> I already got the peg in it because I didn't want to be bothered. So we're going to pop this one in on this side here. I would have shot these videos with me behind the camera, but if you never done a video, uh, a YouTube video, you know, reviews, pose videos, or whatever, you wouldn't know the pain and the struggle of doing this stuff with the camera right in front of you trying to do this. It's a pain. It's, it's a lot harder to do than just put the camera off to the side like I got this one. And you're free to move around and do what you want. Whereas with the camera, it's like right here and you you working like this with your arms going. It's a bigger headache. So this is my method. This is my uh method of choice. That's what we work with. But anyway, back to what I was doing. So, I'm going to pop this hand in here. Then we need... Y'all going to see stuff falling off while we shooting this video. I'm going to tell you now. But, uh, hey. See? <laughs> Just lost the clip. We're going to lay that right there for now. And uh, I need... I already got it set up. Got his little machine gun with the hand already on and the peg. So we're gonna use this one in this pose. So we got that in that hand. And we wanna bring that bring this foot down like that. We're gonna bring this leg up as far as you can get it. Thing I hate about one six bodies. With the clothes on, they never account for the leg coming up any further than this right here. Really wish they would make it where the leg could come up a lot higher. But that's as far as we can get it. So we got it going like that. Then we gonna ab crunch them in and twist. So it's looking like that so far. Let me move this out the way. Then we're gonna take this hand. And he got ratcheted joints, which is a good thing because it kind of holds the poses in place because this material will move it. Even with the ratchets, if you go so far, it's gonna move the hand. I mean, the arm, hand, whatever. All right, we wanna turn his head off to the side and bend it like that then we're gonna take this arm turn it have them like that so you got kind of a I'm diving down to shoot while well, I'm jumping and I'm shooting through the air at my target. Alright. Now. Alright, now I'm going to put them on this stand. The things that's going to hold them up. This piece is going to be right here in the crotch area. And this foot is going to rest upon this little piece right here. And that's going to get him the appearance that he's jumping. Actually, I want to hide the pole better. So I'm going to do this. And try to hide the pole a little better. All right. So that's what we working with for this pose here. Now actually, I wanna, let's do that. That gives it a little bit more. We can actually do a bit, a little bit more.
Alright. Let's bring out the whiteboard. Now y'all tell me what you think. That's the angle for your picture right there. All right, let's try another one. And as y'all can see, stuff fell off. The stun grenade, like I said, stuff falls off while you're trying to pose them because they don't stay securely on him. All right, let's do another one. Lay him down. We gonna use this base, but we don't need the pole. We're gonna have it facing this way. We're gonna have him doing a kneeling pose. So first things first, get rid of this. Get rid of that. Those come out way too easy. Uh, what else? We wanna take his swords out. And where are his sword hands? Okay, so I see one. And two. All right, so. Good thing I took pictures of all these poses before I started this video so I can remember how to put them, how to put them in them just in case I forgot. That's why I keep looking off to the side over here. And I actually want him in a more stuff falling off again. Yeah, they needed ratchets in this thing because if you didn't have ratchets in this, these arms would not hold. All right, I got that. This, this whole hard rubber, man, it's hard to get it to stay down. Dropping stuff. Well, I'm not dropping anything, stuff falling off of it. something else falling off and something else trying to get them to balance on this base Now, swords and hands. Let's see. Glad I don't have to heat these up to put the swords in. That's another bonus. All right, we gonna have this sword. Did the clip fall out this thing? Yep. Of course it did. 
bring that down a little bit more all right Trying to get it to bend that way. All right, I got snake eyes looking real heroic. <laughs> if I could get it to stay. that everything mm. is that everything All right, I think that's everything. And there you have it, another pose. And there's your angle right there. Let's see. right there all right that's another pose a nice kneeling down pose on the base. Got snake eyes looking real heroic. That's what's up. All right, let's go to our next one. Fighting with this suit. These stupid wrist pegs, man. Weak as hell. Uh, this just to make them tight enough. 3 0 got the looks down. They just ain't. They, they need to master their bodies. Once they get these bodies under control, 3 0 become a top contender, man. They just get. They need to work on their bodies, though. They can get these bodies right. Man, competition in trouble because they got the look down. And as y'all can see, this is an easy one to pull off. All right, is that it? I think that's it. All right, here we go. That joint is nice. And of course, we had pieces fall off, so let me put the pieces back on so we can get the full effect. All right, so there we go. There's the complete look.
I like how the sword is cutting across the sky as I turn the rotating table. Let's uh Alright, I got one more solo pose and then we're gonna do some with him and Storm Shadow facing off with each other. So let's do that last one I got. And we're gonna have to take off. <sighs> Y'all didn't see that. Good thing is I got a mat down, so won't damage my figure if they do topple over unless they crash smack down on this thing here all right let's take let's lay him down let's take the swords out we're gonna put these back on his back all right we're gonna put his blade and stuff falling off just off to the side whatever just the right hand yeah all right we're gonna put his blade in this hand going down like that and then I want to bend this that peg all right then we're gonna take his hand with the machine gun already plugged in. We're going to put that on this hand here. I mean, you got the machine gun. You don't need the blade. But I guess you just going to rub it in. You're going you gonna to hit them up with the blade. And if they try something, pop them off with the gun. So you're going you gonna to cut their ass and unload on their ass, huh? Is that how we doing it? Snake Eyes a gangster. All right. So we're going to turn this in. We're going to make this come up as much as you can that the suit will allow, which is just a little bit past 90 degrees. That's it. All right. So we're going to take this foot, put it like that. that foot put it like that have him going down like that cut this head off to the side so that's where we at so far we'll take the gun got that like that Come on, turn. There you go. Listening for that ratchet. Let's do this. Alright. 
Woo! It's a lot of flexing in this pose. There you go, right there. He finna cut your ass, and if that don't work, he popping you off. Cause snake eyes is a G. And I think that's a dope ass pose. That angle right there, that's it right there. Snake eyes ain't no joke. Whoa, now that's a, that's dope from the back. You can even take, you can even snap a photo of this from the back. That's dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I came up with this one, I didn't realize just how sick it was. Cause I wasn't spinning it on the turntable, you know what I mean? So, but there you get, there you have it right there. Let's try another one. All right, since I already got, well, I still gotta switch hands, so let's do this. Let's take that out. Let's take that out. No, we need that, and we gonna leave the blade in there just like it is. We gonna take this one here. We gonna put that one over, that over there. All right, now we're gonna do, we're gonna take that leg all the way back. Have that leg up like that. Have him turn like that, head. Now Storm Shadow couldn't do this. All right, let's do this. Take that up and bring it all the way out like that. Let's turn the blade around. All right. So I'm gonna let y'all see what he looks like by himself before I put Storm Shadow on here with him. Bring that arm all the way up. All right. And I dropped the clip and I don't know where it fell to because that's what happens. Where'd the clip go? Okay, I found it. And you know what? We're gonna double up on the blades. We're gonna put his other blade on this hand. So if he messing with this one, he gonna come back with that one. So we're gonna add a little bit more sharpness to them. This one's gonna be a little harder to get in. It slides in right there. Yep, there we go. Let's do this. So his hand, so his hand will go down like that a little bit. All right, so now you can see the blade. So he got that blade and he got his other blade. Now that's what he looks like by himself. So he getting, he getting a full swing. All right, so we got him straight. Now, and look at that balance, standing all by himself. Now 
That's him by itself. All right. Let's bring in our guest of honor, Mr. Storm Shadow. Y'all already seen the video I had of him. We gonna have him going. We gonna have him right here. <sighs> Don't you fall over now. like that we want to put him more over here like that and we gonna have a storm shadow like you just missed me chump So we're gonna have him like that. And I'm gonna need my stand for this one because at that angle. We're gonna use my clear stand for this one with the crotch grabber. We're gonna use the crotch grabber on his arm. So we're gonna put him like that. And I got the blue tack or the mountain putty on the bottom of the foot to help hold them in place. We're going to take this stand, let this down, and hook it up under here like that. There we go. And he just, he like, oh shoot. You just missed my face, mother sucker. All right, let's go further down with this. Hook him right there. All right, there we go. Bam. Is that it? Think that's it. So let me let me show y'all. We're gonna turn this a little slower. In the midst of a heated battle, Snake Eyes went for the throat. Storm Shadow moved out the way. Alright, let's get y'all. get a good angle on the board for y'all so y'all can get a good look at it all right so there you go right there Picture right there though. That's the picture. That's what you want for the picture right there. Alright, these next few poses that I do, I'm just going to keep Snake Eyes with his swords. So that'll be like the last few poses. So I won't have to do no more changing out of the hands. That's it. And Storm Shadow is pretty much going to have what he has on him. 
I'm not changing nothing out on him either. But I got some good ones left, so let's go ahead and jump to it. Let's uh let's move him out the way. Let's move him off. Alright, let's kind of lay him down like he drunk. Lay him down. Leave him there. We gonna need this, so we're gonna leave that right there. We gonna bust this back out. All right. Sword hands. So take that off, of course stuff falling off. Take the blade out. Take this hand out. And more stuff falling off, of course. Cause that's what it does. Swords out. All right, let's get him in position. So I want him like that. We're gonna have him on the base. Turn him the other way. Gonna have his arm. Now we actually gonna have his arm out like that. But we are gonna put it on an angle. Take the head. We're gonna have this. Let's see, how did I have him? I had him. His leg. Like that. This arm coming across the front. Let's see. This arm with stuff falling off. Coming down like that. Alright, so first up. So we're gonna have that sword going down like that. You know what? Tap you some blue tack, homie. Blue tack, that ain't blue. <laughs> All right. We're going to put that on this foot right here. That'll keep you from moving. 3 0 logo. All right. So this ought to keep you from moving. Trying to put that in there like this. S slight tilt on it. So the end result should be looking something like this. And 
and that's a nice pose by itself. All right, let's put some of this stuff back on him that fell off. All right, so that's everything back on him. Let's move him back some. Hopefully he stays. But that tack got him held to the floor, so he shouldn't be moving anyway. Now, it's just a matter of getting Storm Shadow. Stand with them. Yeah, I had him. So I need to figure out a way. Okay, I, I think I know what to do to keep this on. I want to keep this on here. I need to make room for Storm Shadow. So, I'm hoping this works right here. Alright. Alright. I need this dude. I got him doing some heavy duty dodging in this video. And then I hook the crotch grabber around his arm to keep him standing up. Keep them up. So I got a crotch grabber to hold him up. Let me do one more thing. I'm gonna put some tack on Storm Shadow's foot as well so he doesn't move at all either. I'm now putting it on both feet. All right, so that should hold him. And I think I got it. So that's what I got right there. And I probably should turn his head more. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right. All right, I think that's perfect right there. Y'all tell me what you think. I think that looks damn good.
What y'all think of this one? I think it's boss. Alright, let's move on to another one. I think I got like two more for y'all. Take this off. Take that off. And uh, we still gonna need this for Storm Shadow. But now he's gonna be in a different type of pose. Now I'm gonna have him like this. And like that. Look it up as much as he can. Raise this arm up. Of course he's not gonna stand by himself so again we're gonna use the clear stand and hook him from the back with the crotch grabber Alright, so we got him, now we need this dude, which gonna have him doing a dive. straight freaking sweat man stuff just constantly falls off of him So and that's how we want it. And let's see if I can get we're gonna move this back song that's it right there got snake eyes going in for the kill and storm shadow like I'm not having it I'm coming across you like that did I put everything back on his body you know what at this point it don't even really matter. I'm missing the clip. Well, I just go ahead and put it on there. Missing one of his grenades. One of his little, no, the grenades are fine. His little stun grenade. He got two of them on him. That's good enough. Y'all get the picture. But yeah, this is another one. I can get a better look.
All right, let's go to the last one. I got one more I did. Then we'll close this video out. I think we approaching another hour. Hopefully, I kept y'all entertained long enough to stay for the entire video. And if you stay for the entire video, I appreciate you. Let's do this last one so I can get y'all out of here. Then I gotta go cut grass, unfortunately. So, this time we are gonna have Storm Shadow in the air and Snake Eyes on the ground. So let's take him off. Let's unhook him. We can take the blue tack off of his feet. Even though it's not blue. Force of habit, y'all. And get it all off. There we go. He won't need it. He'll probably need nah, he won't need it either. Alright. So we're gonna have snake eyes on the ground. Like this. Turning. Yeah, this arm like that. We're gonna take the sword out and put it the other way. Have it going. So I think that's how I'm going to have snake eyes. Have him like that. Probably had his sword going a little bit more like this. Let's turn the gauntlet on so I can get that hand to go back like that. All right, and this time we're going to have We gonna have him coming in for the attack. that right there like that I think that's it. Now, I can't take absolute full credit for this pose because it was somewhat inspired by some fan art that I saw online. I just kind of tweaked it and made it my own. So yeah, this was inspired by a pose that I saw in some fan art 
but I tweaked it a little bit to kind of give it my own touch. But this is it right here. This time I got Storm Shot on the offensive. Catching Snake Eyes from behind, but Snake Eyes being who he is, he got them swords ready. And so y'all can get a clear picture. All right, y'all, so that's it for this video. Another pose video in the books. This time today's guest was Snake Eyes featuring Storm Shadow. That's the three zero ninjas, samurais, whatever they supposed to be. And uh, y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Do you tell me which pose is your favorite? Which one you gonna try? And uh, that's it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to get up out of here. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.